Hi, this is Andrew Ford, and in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to look up what your records are worth. So here we've got a collection of 1960s and 70s rock, it looks like. Got some Santana, Led Zeppelin, Beatles, all sorts of good stuff. Um, and it's old, it's classic stuff. Um, you can see from this Santana album. It's pretty cool. And the condition of the records are pretty good, too. The actual vinyl's in good shape, so I'm excited to see what these are worth. So when you're looking at records and you want to know what they're worth, there's a few things you got to look at. Um, you got to look at the jacket. That's what the record comes in. That's what we're looking at here. And you're looking at the spine around the edges and seeing if it's split or anything. You're looking at it, it's rounded here. The cover it looks like has some scuffing, and you can see there's some looks like a sticker might have been on it when it was put up for sale. Who knows? Uh, the next thing we want to do is uh, we look at the back, and we can kind of see. This one has side one and side two, so it just has one record. Some of them have, you know, they come with two records. Uh, this one, let's see if we pull the vinyl out. Now, when, when you're dealing with vinyl, you want to be careful when you touch it, how you touch it. You always touch it by the edge, and you can touch it in the middle, but you don't want to touch the inside where it plays. So we're looking for deep scratches. Um, I'm kind of just tilting it so I can use the light to, to maybe reveal any of those deep scratches in it that might affect the sound quality. And you can see there's one nick right there. I don't know if that's going to affect the sound quality or not. But it's in really good shape. So, uh, let's see. Turn it this way. And you can see some important numbers on here. The first thing we want to look at is right here. This is the catalog number. You can see KC30130. That's what we're going to use to look it up in Maven. And, uh, you know, each different... Uh, you know, each time they do a pressing, it might have a different catalog number, or if it was released in a different country, or, you know, a different year, it's going to have a different number. Uh, and it's going to have it on the other side, too. You can see the number right there. So, we're going to use that to look it up. The other thing we want to look at when we're talking about uh, vinyl is artwork that might have come with the record. So, for example, I've got this Beatles album here, and it's in rough shape. You can see the splitting in the spine here. But uh, this, this one comes with some artwork. You can see, I'll pull it out here, be real gentle. You can see it's already starting to split. It's very delicate. I'm almost afraid to open it. Uh, so dry and brittle. But this is a poster. I'm really afraid to open this. But uh, it has pictures. Let's see. I'll rip if I pull it that way. I'll rip if I pull it that way. I hate to even do this on camera. No, I won't. I don't want to rip it. But the thing you want to look at is to see if the artwork is original that matches the album, you know, and that it's in decent shape. I'd have to open this one up and take a look at it. Uh, but those are the things you want to look at. You want to look at the jacket, you want to look at the artwork, and you want to look at the actual vinyl. The most important thing in the vinyl being the quality of the vinyl, making sure it's in good shape. The other thing you want to look at, like I said before, is the uh, catalog number. That's the easiest way to look up what it's worth. There it is again. There's the catalog number, KC30130. So let's go over to Maven and see what this is worth. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to look up what your vinyl's worth on Maven. So the first thing you want to do is just type in the catalog number. That's the fastest way to get an accurate price estimate. Uh, our album was the Santana Abraxas album. If we type this in, you're going to get a lot of results. So I'm going to type it in, hit enter, I get 358, and you can see the price, average price is $124, and you can see, look at these prices, it's crazy. All sorts of stuff in here, stuff not like mine. But if I type in the catalog number, and this is the uh, KC30... 130, I get just the Santana albums that are like mine, right? This is just like mine. All these are like mine. Uh, you can see these come with a poster. Mine doesn't have a poster, so mine's missing the artwork. I didn't know that. Um, so you want to click on a few of these and kind of get an idea of what's supposed to come with this record. Uh, so, you know, you can see that one didn't come with one. I could see this first one looks like it doesn't come with the artwork. So what I want to do is I want to pick a few of these that are exactly like mine. Uh, this one might be what, like mine, and you know uh, you can see this one says uh, excellent condition. You're talking about the quality. You can see some of these have uh, even they have grades on them, very good plus. If you don't know the grade, uh, you know if you go to sell your records, don't don't try to guess at it. 
But you know, if you uh, if you play the record and you know that it's in perfect condition, there's no scratches that impact the sound quality. You can put that in the description so uh, any buyer would know that it is in very good condition without you trying to guess at the condition, you know, the actual grade. So what you want to do is you're just gonna pick a few that are like mine. Uh, you can see this one. Let's see. This one doesn't come with the artwork either. It looks like so maybe I pick this one and I pick a few of these that are exactly like mine and then uh, it gives me an average price and I can click on this average box and it shows me the ones that I've chosen uh, and you know the lowest is six the highest is almost nine dollars the average price is about seven dollars and eighty two cents so uh, that's a really quick way to use Maven to get an idea of what your vinyl is worth